Hey guys, thanks for watching another episode of DR Outdoors. This is a very special video for me. It is my 100th video, so I'm very glad that I can share it with you guys. Today, uh, we're going to be looking at 10 gift ideas under $10 for the outdoorsman. A lot of times this time of year, gift shopping can be difficult, especially if you're shopping for someone who uh, most of their hobbies has stuff to do with outdoors, whether they're uh, an ice fisherman, uh, an open water fisherman, hunting, whatever it is they like to do. So today, I want to give you 10 ideas for gifts under 10 bucks for the outdoorsman. So let's get started. First idea is a lighter. I have in every one of my backpacks, in every one of my uh, containers of whatever that I take with me out fishing, hunting, I always have a lighter in case uh, I need to light my uh, heater, start a fire, a lighter. Idea number two, jersey gloves. I have a literal box of jersey gloves in my hunting room here, and it's always nice to grab a fresh pair whenever you're gonna go outside, no matter uh, if it's just to shovel the driveway, if it's gonna be for uh, going on a trip or whatever, I always grab three, four, or five pairs and put them in my backpack. Jersey gloves are super cheap, you can buy uh, a big old stack of them or grab just a pair for a stocking stuffer, but jersey gloves is always a great idea. Third idea is a hat. I'm not a big hat wearer myself, uh, but uh, people over the years have bought me these hats. This one I actually call uh, my lucky hat. I don't wear it, but I often take it with me hunting in my backpack and I've had it with me uh, on almost every deer that I've killed and uh, I enjoy this hat. And then also like uh, these kind of hat, you know, a winter hat, like a beanie. And I do wear these often in the winter. Uh, so hats are always a good idea. Idea number four, uh, my grandpa calls these sissy gloves. They're uh, field dressing gloves. And what you have here is these orange gloves on the outside. You can put them on and they go all the way over uh, your arm, all the way up to your shoulder. Like this and it's for when you are field dressing a deer or you could put them on whenever you're you know, taking care of grouse or squirrels or whatever, but it keeps your arms and your hands clean so you don't get it all over yourself or on your gear. And then you have a pair of uh, medical gloves that go on over top to make it nice and tight. And then when you're done, all you do is slide the whole thing off and boom, you're nice and clean. These are always really nice, I always keep uh, a set or two of these in my backpack, and they always come in real handy, especially for that deer hunter. Idea number five is flashlights. I have four different backpacks. I have a rifle backpack, uh, a bow hunting, a scouting, and also an ice fishing pack. And in all of those, I have two different kinds of flashlights. I have just these regular small, like, uh, I call them cheapy flashlights, they're just five, six dollars you can buy like at any checkout or anything. These are nice to have, just to be in the car or whatever if you're getting ready in the dark to go out to the woods or to the lake or whatever. And then I also have uh, these, these are a little more expensive. I bought some, uh, like these are off-brand ones. I bought a pack of three for like 14 bucks. My brother-in-law bought me a, a bigger one. It is a, a Husky brand. But these are, I think these little ones are 500 lumens and then uh, my Husky is a thousand lumens. So it can light up a, a regular size room, like a living room, no problem. And those are really nice for tracking deer on a blood trail or having in your ice shack in the dark, it lights up the whole shack. But having good flashlights, having good lights is always uh, really nice. It's always to nice to have extras. And it's something that you know, sometimes I just don't like to spend money on. So when I get them as a gift, it's always really nice. Flashlights. Another idea, ear protection. Uh, whenever uh, your outdoorsman is going to be doing any shooting of any kind, whether it be on the range, uh, in a blind, uh, shooting skeet, whatever it is, it's always nice to have ear protection. Another idea is a multi-tool. Again, in all of my different backpacks that I have for each uh, hunting, bow hunting, ice fishing, I have a multi-tool in each. It's always nice to have a multi-tool for, you know, unhooking a uh, hook out of a fish, taking something out of your hand, uh, just something for in case of emergency, and my hunting backpack for anything I might need for that. But a multi-tool, this one my dad bought me, it was my first knife ever. He bought it for me on my eighth birthday. 
since then I've uh, bought or acquired a lot more, but these are always a real handy tool to have in your pack or on your person when you're out in the woods. Another idea before I get to these two bigger ones is hand warmers. I actually don't have any, so if you know me, and you can put that on your Christmas list for me. Hand warmers are always really nice to have in your pack, uh, just in case uh, you're in a situation where it gets really, really cold. So now let's get to the last two. This one here uh, is uh, an ammo box, and it of course can be used to store ammo. This one in particular is plastic. I think you can get them at Walmart for like five or six dollars. Uh, but you can store so much uh, other stuff in them. I have some that I use for storing fishing stuff or knives or whatever. But it's really nice to have these uh, closed containers. They're, they're latch containers and they're for the most part waterproof. And uh, these are just really handy for storage. It's nice to have containers to keep stuff in. So these are a really great idea. And then lastly, number 10 is clear storage. Now. I bought a pack of 10 of these uh, at Walmart for 10 bucks. They were a buck a piece. And uh, again, storage is a huge deal as your outdoorsman gathers more and more stuff. He or she is gonna need more and more places uh, to keep it all organized. I hope this has been helpful to you. I hope that this maybe gives you a little direction uh, for shopping for that outdoorsman in your life. Thank you for watching this video. Share it with someone and until next time, We'll catch you on another video.